Hello and welcome to the Web Certain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Facebook has launched a new tool to fight fake news. Sogu looks set to publish an IPO and a survey has identified the most popular instant messaging apps in Russia. Facebook has launched a new tool in its fight against the spread of fake news on its site. The issue of fake news on Facebook has been prominent since the 2016 US election when it was claimed that some false stories were deliberately shared for political gain. This led to widespread criticism from countries such as France who have imminent elections of their own. The new tool presents a pop-up to users who are trying to share disputed content, letting them know that fact-checking sites Snoops.com and Associated Press have disputed its accuracy. It's currently only being presented to users in a select number of countries. The social networking site is already flagging up links to stories which have been disputed by independent organizations, which Facebook says lets users decide for themselves what to trust and what to share. Sogu has confirmed that it's working towards publishing an IPO before the end of 2017. According to the company's SEO, multiple parties involved in the running of the business, including shareholders Tencent and Sohu, have met to discuss the issue. It was revealed in January 2017 that the company planned to make 10% of its shares available for IPO this year. Search data in China suggests that Sogu is the country's third largest search engine. Meanwhile, Sogu has also said that apart from its IPO, it intends to focus on the manufacturing of AI hardware this year. Research from Jason and Partners Consulting has found that VK and WhatsApp are the most popular chat apps in Russia. VK or Vkontakte came top of the study, even though it was a lowly fifth, in the 2015 survey. The survey also highlighted Skype's fall in popularity in the country, coming only fourth in the rankings despite being top just three years ago. It was suggested that Skype's decline was due to low quality of communication, abundance of advertising, and a complicated registration process. Coming second place in Russia helped WhatsApp come top of the worldwide study ahead of Facebook Messenger, although VK did not appear in the global top seven despite its overwhelming popularity in Russia. Ad blocking is continuing to fall in Germany, according to a new report from BVDW and OVK. The study found that since Q4 2015, when 21.5% of ads were blocked, use of the software had dropped to the point where only 17% of ads were blocked in Q4 2016. The steepest decline in this period was found between Q3 and Q4 2016, when the number dropped by more than 2%. eMarketer commented on these figures, saying that the drop in the use of ad blocking software was extremely sharp compared to other nations worldwide. Another survey completed in August 2016 found that 15% of German internet users currently use ad blocking software, with another 11% planning on using it in the future. And finally, Australian mansions are being viewed and purchased by Chinese customers entirely over the social media app WeChat. The property business Black Diamonds has begun selling high-end housing in Melbourne and Sydney using WeChat as a way of attracting Chinese buyers. The founder of the business, Monica Tu, has said that social media is the ultimate tool if you want to tap into the Chinese market, adding that whilst Black Diamonds has a presence on most social media sites, WeChat brings the most success. Due to WeChat enabling users to converse, send images, videos, and complete payments on a single page, it's the ideal platform for completing a cross-border purchase. And that's it from me today. Thank you for joining us, and be sure to check out our Catch-Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos, and more. See you next time. <laughs>